Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope everyone out there is having a great day today. My name is Rob and welcome to the Gym Rat World. Today I'm going to be giving you a clear and simple explanation of beta alanine. I'm going to go over what it is, what it does, and what you can expect from taking it. Now this video is for people who are in the fitness community or somebody who's just looking for additional information on beta alanine. Now if you're a med student or anything like that, this is probably not the video for you because uh, again, this is just going to be clear and simple. I'm not going to get caught up in the minutia of beta alanine. So for those of you who just want some information, let's get right on into this. So first off, beta alanine is a non-essential amino acid and is a precursor to carnosine. Now, typically amino acids are there to be building blocks for protein. This is not the case with beta alanine. What it does do though is it helps increase our carnosine levels in our body. Uh, studies suggest that this is upwards of 80% increase for us. Now, why is that important? The reason why it is important is because when we're exercising or we're training or we're having any physical exercise, when we have high heightened levels of carnosine in our bodies, what that does is it actually limits the production of hydrogen ions in our bodies and that gives us optimal levels of pH in our bodies as well and that all results in us being able to fight off fatigue and just getting better performance out of our body. So if you're not to take beta alanine, um, then basically what happens is that our hydrogen ion production is just increasing and our pH levels are dropping. So when that happens, that's when fatigue sets in. That's when you just kind of want to go home, you kind of stop exercising or doing whatever physical exercise exercise that you are actually doing. So it kind of sucks, right? Now, some of you might be asking, well, why don't we just uh, supplement with carnosine? Well, the reason why is because when we digest carnosine, we just actually don't get the full effects of it. So since beta alanine is that precursor, it's just a more effective way of being able to raise up our carnosine levels. Now to cite one study that was done back in 2012, where it had 360 participants and they had 23 different training exercises that they did and they measured it in 57 different ways. Basically the end result of it was, is obviously, well, they had a placebo group and they had a group that was taking beta alanine. The end result was that the group that was taking the beta alanine was able to increase their athletic performance in the 60 second to 240 second range while the placebo group was not able to improve their athletic performance when compared to people who are taking beta alanine. Now that's obviously pretty awesome if you're looking to just get a little bit better performance out of your body. Now the correct dosage of taking beta alanine is in two to five gram range. Now if you're operating in that two to five gram range, you're basically gonna feel that tingly sensation, that skin crawling sensation that a lot of people don't really know where it comes from. It comes from beta alanine. Now, that's, you know, it's pretty much in every single pre-workout. So it's kind of hard to go away from. The good news is, is that if you're operating in that range and you're feeling that tingly sensation, it's called paresthesia. There's no evidence or studies to suggest that it is actually harmful for you when you get it from beta alanine. So you just kind of got to suck it up because there's very few pre-workouts that don't have it. I got some links for those of you who do not want to take a pre-workout or who do want to take a pre-workout without beta alanine, I got some links for you on that one. So that's pretty much beta alanine. So what is beta alanine? Beta alanine is a non-essential amino acid. It increases the carnosine levels in our body, which limits the production of hydrogen ions in our body, which gives us an optimal level of pH levels, which is able, which gives us the ability to actually fight off fatigue and just get better performance out of our body. So I hope I made this fast and simple for you. If you're somebody who likes information fast and simple, you're not sitting here watching a 5, 10, 20 minute video on two minutes of information, go ahead and subscribe, right? I do these videos all the time. Typically they're supplement reviews, but I'm about to be pushing out a lot more videos. So just go ahead, jump on the train and subscribe to this channel, all right? I appreciate your time. Thank you for taking the time today and have a good day.